PMAT 43, I want to take a moment and review up the three types of graphs that we can make when we have numerical data. Our three options are the histogram, the box plot, and the stem and leaf plot. Last week, we took a look at some data on the mating habits of raccoons. We made a histogram with that discrete numerical data. We started by making a frequency table, entered our data into L1 and L2, set up our stat plot, adjusted our Zoom 9 window, and voila! We also have the option to make a modified box plot. Recall that we modify our box plot so that we can see when outliers are present. I can hit the trace button on the calculator to see the specific values on the five statistics that make up the five number summary. We had one more option. We could have made a stem and leaf plot. Now since my spread was from one to four, I'll opt to have my stems represent the ones digit place and my leaves represent the tenths digit place. So if a raccoon had one male partner, I would represent that data value with a stem of one and a leaf of zero. If I rotate my stem and leaf plot counterclockwise, we can see the variable now along the x-axis, and the stem and leaf plot has the same shape as my histogram. That was a quick little recap from chapter two. Now it's your turn to take it a step further. Use your socks to describe this data set and these graphs.